April is National Donate Life Month, and one local hospital is raising awareness of the different types of organ donation and how you can become a donor. UI Health has a robust donor program, including living donation, and Lisa Mariano joins us with more. Lisa, thanks for being here. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, so when we talk about living organ donation, what are we talking about? So in living donation, it's really a person like yourselves yeah. who steps forward, who might be interested in donating a kidney or a portion of their liver to a patient in need for a transplant. I think in the community, there's a lot of understanding about kidney donation because it's more common. But at UI Health, we offer robust programs for both living donor kidney and liver transplantation. Yeah, and I do think about kidneys just because we happen to have an have two of them, so it's like yeah. one of them we can give up, but you're saying a portion of our liver as well? Yes, so in a normal, healthy adult, the liver, it's an amazing organ because it's constantly regenerating itself. That makes living donation feasible. The mm. surgical team takes a section of the liver and it regains full functionality and regrows to full size within a very short period of time, allowing the living donation possible for the liver transplant. So I imagine in your line of work then, you're dealing with several patients, right? You're dealing with the one who's donated the organ and then the one receiving the organ. That's right. um, how, how does that make it more difficult on your end? And mm -hmm. what are your stories that you're hearing back from people experiencing that? You know what, Jane, it actually doesn't make the process that much more difficult. It actually streamlines the process for the team caring for both donor and recipient because living donation allows us to control timing of the surgery. Right now, there are just over about 100,000 people on the national waiting list for organ transplantation. And sadly, statistics show that 17 people die every day wow. waiting. Living donation is a great option to expedite the process toward restored health and ultimately to transplantation. So the process doesn't become more complicated. It actually becomes much more streamlined, knowing that we can get our recipient to surgery in a more controlled timing setting. Yeah. Because patients waiting for organ transplantation are sick. They live in a chronically decompensated state. So this offers all of us the opportunity to expedite their process to restore health. Wow, so you've touched on a little bit about how it works, but how does somebody watching right now decide, or if they do want to be a living donor, sure. how does it, how the do you start? The conversation's tough, right? For, we encourage the recipients that we meet when they come through for their evaluation to start the conversation with friends, with family, in their community. Anyone interested in living donation can call UI Health. There'll be somebody there to take the call. You go through the process of evaluation, and you never know, that initial call may lead to someone changing another person's life in the most meaningful way, mm -hmm. and that's by giving them a gift. And if you are able to be a living donor, have you heard from some of these patients? I imagine it's pretty fulfilling experience. All the time, yeah. all the time ladies. It, it happens all the time. And the donors are, they get, they get back so much from being able to do this. And that's why we want our recipients to have those conversations. There are so many people out there looking to do a good thing mm -hmm. for somebody else. It doesn't have to be a blood relative. It, it could be a friend. It could be a total stranger. Donors do not have to be blood type compatible to the recipient. So if you give UI Health a call and they'll, they'll get the potential donor through the process. Well, Lisa, thank you so much for being with us. You're the lead coordinator for thank liver you. transplants. Any idea how many you've thank overseen you. so far? So, uh, you know, last year I know we did we did eight, and then in counting, wow. eight in counting. Oh, so, my goodness. Wow. Mm -hmm. Incredible. So, for more, are robust. Yep. Yeah. For more information on donation options and how you can become a donor, just head to donor.uihealth.care.